When we become too confident in our own memory, that's when mistakes happen and that's when things fall through the cracks. Hey guys, I'm Monica and I'm an internal medicine doc and I'm here to teach you guys how to make a task list to keep track of your to-dos throughout the day on your inpatient medicine rotation and be as efficient as possible. Guys, checklists are a must. They are necessary because when we become too confident in our own memory, that's when mistakes happen and that's when things fall through the cracks. So your daily task list for medicine should be in the form of some sort of checklist. So there are two parts to your task list on internal medicine. There are your general tasks that you do every single day for each patient. And then there are the tasks that are specific to that day. For each patient that's staying in the hospital, you have to write your sign out, decide on your daily labs, and you need to write your note. And I like to add another step to this, and that is to review your orders. And so the best way to remember whether or not you've done each of these things for each patient is to come up with an acronym. So mine is S-L-N-O. Sign out, labs, notes, orders. And I write S-L-N-O next to every single patient's name on my list, and I cross them off as I go so I know what I've done for each patient. So like I said, this can be tailored to your preferences. So that's your task list for what you're doing every day, no matter what, for each patient. And then you have the other task list that is specific for that day. So these are tasks that came up during pre-rounding or rounding, and you're jotting them down as you go during rounds. Now what's important to remember about this task list is how to prioritize. Now repeat after me, it's consults, orders, then notes. Consults, orders, notes, and in that order. Always prioritize consults because you wanna call your consultants as early in the day as possible. Okay, not like at six or 7 a.m., but you know, at least before noon so that they have time to see the patient and provide recommendations before the end of the day. Then you put in your orders for labs, imaging, treatments, whatever you need to do. And then later at the end, you write your notes. So notes are the last priority. Do not be that student who goes straight from rounds and sits at a computer and starts banging out notes. No, you need to get your to-dos done first. So during rounds, things are gonna be kind of a mess because you're just jotting things down as they come up and you end up with this pretty disorganized list that's barely legible. So what I recommend is after rounds, you sit down with your task list and you go through each one and you circle the things that need to be done ASAP. And so that way those tasks stand out on the list. Another quick tip for consults. So you have to page the consultant and then they're gonna call you back to get the story. So what I would do is after I page the consultant, I would put one slash through the checkbox, and then once I heard back from them, I put the other slash, so I know that I heard back from that consultant. Because if I see that I only have one slash and I didn't hear back, then that's when I know to follow up. And that's how you write a task list in internal medicine. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button and click subscribe for more videos on how to succeed in medical school, residency, and beyond. See you guys next time.